I've been asked time and time again to make a complete guide on process lasso. The reason I never did before was because I was kind of skeptical and it hit me just like any other task manager alternative. That is until I came across this guide from Flame and seeing all the available options, I knew I had to give it a shot. So I decided to benchmark Fortnite before any optimizations and finally at the end I will benchmark it once again after using process lasso to get a comparison of if it really can fix the stuttering and how much more FPS and reduced latency can we get from process lasso if any at all. And to keep the benchmark environment consistent I used the Fortnite replay mode to ensure all the different variables didn't affect the benchmark aside from the process lasso itself of course. Now let's start with process lasso and I will compare the before and after at the end. So go to the Bitsum website the link will be in the description and download the process lasso by clicking on this free download button right here. Once downloaded simply run the setup and then press ok, then press I agree, then next, then press install and after the installation it should be running now. So the interface should look something like this. The very first thing that I want you to do inside of here is go to the options and under the CPU go to pro balance and make sure that enable pro balance is checked. Now what is pro balance and why do we want to enable it? So pro balance is a feature that manages the priorities of different processes that are running based on their CPU usage which can be quite useful in theory for a CPU intensive games like Fortnite. But we don't just want to enable it we also want to modify it to get the most performance out of it. For that you will need to click on the advanced options and inside of here are a bunch of settings that we will be changing. So for you all of these numbers will be different since those are the default values. For the total system wide CPU usage when adjustment should begin this is the total CPU usage when the process lasso starts to do its magic or apply its tweaks and by default it will be set to around 10 or 11 percent but we want to bump it down to 9 percent meaning that when the overall CPU usage reaches 9 percent the process lasso optimizations and tweaks will start to affect the CPU. Then for the per process CPU usage when the adjustment should begin this by default will be at around 8 percent but you can set it to as low as 3 or 4 percent and I personally like to keep it at 4 percent. Then for the per process CPU usage when the adjustment should stop we want to set it to as low as possible which in this case would be the 1%. Then for the time allowed over CPU quota before adjustments, the maximum time and the minimum time for adjustments, just keep these values at default. Also in order to ensure system stability and get the maximum performance without stuttering, we will need to exclude some of the critical windows processes from all of these optimizations. In order to do that, simply click on the set excluded processes and inside of here the two that you want to add are the conhost.exe which is the console windows host which basically provides the GUI or the graphical user interface to the console applications. And the other one is the wt.exe which is the windows terminal also known as cli or command line interface. nvim.exe is an optional one and is for neovims so you don't really need to add this. But the two that you do want to add are the conhost.exe and the wt.exe. Once you have added these click on ok then click on ok once again then once again go to options and this time go to memory then make sure that enable smart trim is checked. Smart trim is basically like a memory cleaner or a ram management tool but without the problem of clearing the active applications memory which could lead to stutters and FPS drops in games. This feature is only really useful for those of you guys with 16 gigs or less RAM. So in my case I do have 16 gigs of RAM so I'm gonna keep this enabled. However to modify its behavior we will need to go to the smart trim options. Inside of here make sure that the check every is set to 15 minutes, the trim working sets should be enabled and these values should be set to default. Also make sure to check the part standby list and part system cache files and inside of this box right here you will need to set half of your total RAM value. So in my case I have 16 gigs of RAM and I have set it to 8000 which is roughly the half of that. Once done simply hit OK. But we are not done just yet. We will need to go back to options once more and under the memory this time go to smart trim exclusions to add processes that we don't want the smart trim to clear memory of. This includes audio dg.exe which basically handles the entire system audio. Then the csrss.exe which is a client server runtime and is a critical system file in windows that manages processes, threads and the console window. Window. It is also responsible for shutdown processes. Then there is the dwm.exe or the desktop windows manager which manages the graphical user interface through hardware acceleration. Then font drvhost.exe handles the management and rendering of fonts in windows. Then ls also is the process lasso itself so we definitely don't want to clear its memory usage either. Then lsass is the windows file that stands for local security authority subsystem service and is a critical component of operating system that manages the user authentication and several security policies. Then smss.exe is the session manager subsystem which is a core component of windows and is responsible for handling user sessions and is essential for system stability and security. 
Then SVC host.txe is the service host Windows process that loads and hosts the services for Windows operating system which we commonly group together to reduce the number of background processes. And finally, winlogon.txe is a Windows executable that manages the user login and log off processes. Once you have added all of these Windows services, all you need to do is hit OK and that's it. Also, instead of manually applying all of these optimizations and tweaks and adding all of those exclusions, what you can do is go down into the description and download my process lesso profile. Once downloaded, simply go to file, then import configuration, then click on the process lesso.ini and then hit open. And then all of these tweaks and configurations that we have done so far will be automatically applied. Now that we have optimized the overall system, it's time to optimize Fortnite or any other game in your case. So to apply the optimizations to Fortnite or any other game in your case, you will need to run that game in the background as you can see I'm running Fortnite with process lesso open. Once you have both your game and the process lesso running, simply go to the active processes and inside of here find the exe file for your game. In case of Fortnite, it's the Fortnite client to win 64 shipping.txe. Once you have found it, simply right click on it, then go to CPU priority, under always, make sure to set it to high. Then right click on it once again and this time go to power profile and set it to the balanced max performance overlay. Then right click on it one final time and this time go to more, then under the hard throttle, go to always and make sure to set it to no throttle in case it wasn't set already. Once you have done all of this, you will need to create a custom profile to make sure that all of these tweaks are automatically applied every time you run process lesso instead of applying them manually every single time. For that, you will need to go to file, then under config profile, create a config profile. I'm gonna go ahead and name it Fortnite. And then make sure to check use current settings as this profile, then hit OK. And now if I go to file and config profile, you can see that the Fortnite profile is applied. So now that we are done with all of these optimizations, here are the before and after benchmarks. As you can see that the difference in overall FPS is not that much, however we do seem to be getting a bit more FPS with process lesso compared to no optimizations. Another thing to note is that the FPS are not dropping to as low as they were before in battles or 1v1s. This became even more apparent when I compared the benchmarks and as you can see that the overall FPS here remain pretty much the same. However, the interesting part is the 1% lows and the 0.2% lows, which were improved quite significantly thanks to process lasso. The 1% lows went from around 75 to 80, accounting for a little bit of margin for error, and the 0.2% lows went from around 61 to 75, which is quite a high jump. This improvement in the 1% lows and the 0.2% lows led to quite a smoother gameplay experience, which also of course reduced the overall system latency. So in conclusion, if you are looking to gain a lot more FPS in Fortnite, then Process Lasso isn't the tool for you. However, what it can do is significantly reduce the stutters and FPS drops in the game, making it a lot smoother to run. Oh, and there is one more very important thing that I forgot to mention if you are using Process Lasso. Psych.